Now let's talk about the intro. You've got an intro and an outro. Some people call it an intro and an extro. Whatever way that you want to say it, one brings you into a podcast and one exits you out of the podcast. So during an intro, you want to keep this as short as possible. For our podcast clients, we really work to try to get their introduction to 15 seconds or less. And if you go back two episodes, you will remember we talked about the motivation, what would happen if I if I offered to give you a vitamin to make you healthy, or if I offer to give you something to solve your problem, like a Tylenol or aspirin or ibuprofen to take away your migraine, for example. Most people aren't really going to jump, uh, jump up and get excited about that vitamin. Most people are going to do everything in their power to go and find a glass of water so they can take that pain, med- pain medicine so they can get rid of their migraine. So we want to be thinking about that during the intro. This is 15 seconds or less, and it needs to speak to your perfect avatar. Now, there are some differences between the audio and the video experience. With your intro, you're going to think, I want to try for 15 seconds or less if I can't do that, if it's impossible for me to make it 15 seconds or less. Maybe I can do 20-ish seconds or at an absolute max, 25 seconds on very small case-by-case basis. You want to really try for that 15 to 20 seconds at max uh, range for your intro, and it needs to speak directly to that avatar. And that's specific to the audio experience. When we talk about the video experience, we usually want it even shorter. What I'm saying is the video experience needs to really pack a punch even more than the audio experience. And here's the reason why. If somebody's coming to the video experience, normally they type in the content that they're looking for, and then they look to see what YouTube generates and puts in front of them. And then they'll they'll watch multiple different ones. And they usually try to get to the shortest ones possible. Most people, most people, they, they will look for the three and five and 10 minute episodes or YouTube videos before they look at the 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 minute, 90 minute videos. They'll normally search for a topic that they're looking for. And then they will go for the one that they think is going to be going to give them the best punch. That's what normally will happen on YouTube. What normally happens on the podcast experience is they are already your fan. They found you. They're staying with you for a while. They're listening to a lot of your episodes on YouTube. They continue to have these. What, what's the best way to say it? Um, YouTube basically puts in front of people lots of different things to distract them from any channel, any channel that they're watching. Then at the end of that video, there's something else about that topic, but from somebody else's channel that YouTube will push in front of that viewer. And so with that in mind, you want to keep yours as short and concise as possible when it goes through the video experience. You want to jump into the content as soon as possible when it comes to the video experience. It's not to say that you don't want to jump into the content on an audio experience. It's just to say that on the audio experience, your listener tends to love you a little bit more and know you by name and follow you because they like you more than they generally do on YouTube where they're just looking for content and they'll basically watch like three or four or five different people anytime that they have a question. So just remember, when it comes to the audio experience, we're looking for an intro that really talks about the pain med versus the vitamin and is 15 seconds or less. Remember the trailer was 17 seconds or less. The intro is hopefully 15 seconds, maybe up to 20 if if you have to. But on your YouTube videos, you want to see what you can do to even cut that more or get rid of it completely. One idea that I can give you to get rid of the introduction completely on YouTube that we've done for a lot of clients is something called a logo, uh, an animated logo, a logo animation. You could probably call it either one, uh, animated logo or logo animation. It's basically your podcast artwork. And it's just a couple of seconds where your artwork kind of moves. It's animated. And so if you've got a if you've got a logo that I'm just going to use the Taco Bell, um, that is a logo animation. They got the bell and it goes doom, and that's it. <laughs>